Rudy is the, mo the, the best defensive player in the league. But what, what do you I think? think it's an empirical fact. But... Um, <laughs> but in terms of his sense for the moment, or, or maybe just not fouling. Empirical from the standpoint that if you look at every number, that he's dominant. Like, not just good, he's been dominant. So, it's, uh, and I'm not pining for him. Um, I will, but I'm just stating you know, what is happening with our team. Rudy's doing is, is, is special right now. Yes, Rudy Gobert is one of the best defenders in the NBA, but he's not the best. This is false, and you'll see why in a few seconds. Welcome to part two of why Anthony Davis should win the Defensive Player of the Year award for this season. If you are new to my channel and not subscribed, subscribe because I drop basketball videos and I cover different topics of the NBA. Once again, it's Third IV195 coming at you with my intellect. Stay tuned. If you're a Utah fan, or strictly a Rudy Gobert fan, don't take this as me taking a shot at Rudy Gobert. I actually like him, and as an NBA fan, I love to see what's going on with the Utah Jazz this season. No one expected you guys to make it to the playoffs, especially being in the Western Conference, because we all know how competitive the Western Conference is. It's way more competitive than the East, especially after Gordon Hayward left the team in last year's offseason. And you guys are taking care of business, you're getting things done. You guys are definitely going to make it to the playoffs this season, no doubt about that. And one of my favorite young players in the NBA is on the team right now, in Donovan Mitchell, which I think in my opinion, he should win the Rookie of the Year award. And a big part to Utah's success is Rudy Gobert. So how can I not be excited about what I'm seeing happen right now with the Utah Jazz? Rudy Gobert also believes he should be the Defensive Player of the Year. <laughs> Do you feel like, you know, you said you're a better defender. Do you feel like you are... Uh, defensive player of the year. We talked about that before the year, man. But do you feel like you are the best player, in, best defender in the league? To me, there's no question right now. You know, um, my goal is, to, like I said, you know, uh, to make my teammates better defensively, make my team better. And uh, but yeah, there's no question. There's no, there's no question. I mean, who wouldn't think that about themselves? But I disagree. There's only a couple of games left in the season, and I don't think it's possible that Rudy Gobert will surpass Anthony Davis in blocks per game and in block totals. If you compare Gobert and Davis stats based off this season, you'll see that Anthony Davis is averaging more blocks than Rudy is, and Anthony Davis is ranked number one in blocks, and Rudy is ranked second in blocks. Davis is also leading the league in block totals as well, and Gobert is currently ranked at the 5th spot in block totals. I know Gobert missed more games than Davis did this season, but it is what it is. And even if Gobert played the same amount of games as Davis has this season, in my opinion, I still don't think he would be leading the league in blocks and in block totals. Davis is also getting it done on the stealing end as well. Davis is ranked top 20 in steals, and he's currently ranked at the 19th spot out of the top 50 players in the league in steals per game. And he's also top 25 in steal totals as well and ranked at the 21st spot. Gobert's not even ranked top 15 steals or in steal totals because he's not even averaging one steal per game. He's averaging 0.8 steals. If you compare the two against each other from the beginning of their careers, you can see that Davis beats Gobert in every block and steal category. Yes, Anthony Davis has played one year before Gobert, so he has a head start, but it doesn't matter that Davis played a year before him because this is what's going to prove it. Rudy Gobert has been selected to the all-defensive first team once, and Davis hasn't been selected to the all defensive first team once in his career yet which is blasphemous hopefully he makes it for the season so that's the proof right there davis has been selected to be on two defensive teams and rudy gobert was selected to be on one and gobert is probably going to make a defensive team this year again and davis was a block leader twice and gobert was only a block leader once and Davis is about to lead the league in blocks per game again this season, so it's going to be 3-1 to one when comparing their careers to each other's. But don't get me wrong, Rudy Gobert is a legit candidate to be one of the players that can win the Defensive Player of the Year award for this season. Here's why. Utah allows the third least amount of points in the paint. 
and Utah's third in defensive ratings behind the Celtics and the Spurs. Rudy Gobert is the biggest reason to why Utah is doing so well as a team defensively. And when he's out, they go from a great defensive team to a mediocre team defensively. So he has a case. I just don't think that he should win the Defensive Player of the Year award over Anthony Davis. And if you believe that Victor Oladipo or Paul George should win the Defensive Player of the Year award over Anthony Davis this season, that shouldn't happen either. Yes, Paul George and Victor Oladipo are top two in steals per game and in steal totals as well, but they aren't doing it on the blocking end. Not that anyone should expect them to because it's not their job. It's their job to guard the perimeter, but the fact that Anthony Davis is a big man and he's doing it on the stealing end, not just the blocking end, is amazing. And you have to consider this when you are looking into what they are doing defensively. Victor Oladipo and Paul George aren't top 50 in blocks or in block totals. Victor Oladipo is not even averaging one block per game. He's averaging 0.7 blocks. And Paul George isn't even averaging one block per game either. He's averaging 0.5 blocks. The fact that Anthony Anthony Davis can be one of the top players or top player in blocks and one of the top players in steals while doing what he's doing offensively and he's about to lead the league for the third time this decade in blocks for a season and he does this consistently season after season is just amazing. I think voters should really look into this and really consider giving Anthony Davis a vote based off of what he's doing because to do what he's doing is very hard. It's not easy. You can even argue that Anthony Davis is the best two-way player in the league but that's it for the video guys and like i always say please like and subscribe and hit that notification button to get notified whenever i drop a video and comment below tell me what you think your opinion matters and follow me on my social media accounts which is the same as my youtube channel name and share this video peace As he's, as he's busy.